Hi guys, it's Claris and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my nails. I'm going to do gel this time. So yeah, let's get right into it. First, I just want to mention that this video was actually pre-recorded a few weeks back. So that is why my nails are longer in this video than they are right now. But I just wanted to show you guys the garlic and olive oil, little cuticle oil I made for my nails that I've been trying to use every day. And I can't say I've been using it long enough to see that it works, but garlic is definitely very good for the nails. So I am very hopeful. So now we're all ready to go. The products I'm going to be using today, I'm going to be using Gershon's Gel Base Coat. I actually don't have many Madame Glam's gel base coat yet. So I'm just using one from Gershon. The um, color from Madame Glam I have today is from their nudes collection. I think it's called Say Yes to the Nudes, but it, this one is called Bloom. It's a very sheer pinkish nude color. And then for top coat, I'm just going to be using their Soak Off No White Top Coat. I'm also going to be using um, some rhinestones. I actually got these off of Amazon for pretty cheap. They're not the best quality, but they do work. I don't do both of my hands at the same time in matching manicures very often just because I do have to film every week. However, uh, at this point, I had pre-recorded enough videos, so definitely made it worth it to go ahead and do a matching mani. And I definitely do like it when my nails are matching. <laughs> so anyways, I just applied my base coat and then I'm curing that for 30 seconds. So now I'm taking the gel polish and definitely applying it. It came off very, very sheer, which I guess could be expected from these very light colors. But I did like the brush and the consistency was great to work with. So after smoothing on that first coat, I did cure and I'm applying the second. And it did build up a little bit more opacity, but I could still see through to the nail line. So I'm just continuing on and applying that to all the nails. So although I did find this polish extremely sheer, I thought it was good enough in three coats, but I thought it was also very much my skin tone. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm not that much of a fan of nude nails. I just don't like how much it just blends in. So these are definitely a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I thought I would try it out. So anyways, here I smoothed on a little bit of top coat and here I'm trying to experiment with what kind of rhinestone design I wanted. At first I was kind of bunching it all near the cuticle like a cuff. So I ended up with doing this design down the nail that I like the best. So here on the thumb, I'm doing it again to show you guys. I'm just applying over the whole nail and then um, using my tweezers to pick them up and place them on. And I definitely liked doing some decoration to enhance this look. There are definitely so many ideas and I had a great time looking up some inspo of what I might do. And I ended up doing this design myself of oh, the rhinestones going down the nail. I thought it looked very elegant. So here I'm applying top coat to the rest of the nails and then curing for 30 seconds. So that is what the finished hand looks like. As you can see, it is still a little bit sheared, but with this kind of color, I think a little bit of opacity is fine. So now I'm going to go on to do my other nails. Basically just the same. I wanted to do my left hand ones first so I could get the feel of what I was going for while I was using my dominant hand, and then I'm using my non-dominant hand to do the last set. Uh, again, same design. So there is the completed set. I really do think it is so elegant and pretty, and even though it's a bit different than what I would normally do, I would definitely do new nails again after trying this out. Well, I want to hear your opinion and what you think about this set I did. Feel free to comment your thoughts below, and if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you would join me for new videos every Wednesday all about nails. Also, I am recently enrolled in a nail technology school if you want to know more about that. I do have a video on my channel as well. It's been super exciting and fun. So I want to thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far to the end, you are the best. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and have a magical day.